Now it's set a uh, sleep mode and it doesn't use any power. So now it should require a longer press. See, this doesn't do anything until I press it for long enough and then there it goes. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is open up this uh, drill and um, try to circumvent this sleeping timer. So I can just uh, turn it off and on uh, manually so I can use the drill and when I'm using it turn it on it's always responsive while I'm working because this sleep timer is terrible it's uh, I don't know what what who, who came up with that idea but uh, they're old uh, I got I got this one here and uh, after sleeping it has a teeny tight delay but it's like it's like half a second uh, See? So it, it didn't respond instantly, but this is doable. This is fine. I've used this tool. I loved it a lot. Like price quality, I couldn't get anything better. It's awesome. It's from their cheaper range. But now I'm going to the more expensive range, to the to the performance uh, range. And there's this stupid build and timer. After 40 seconds, like you're working on something and you want to use your tool. Oh, there we go again. You have to wait. Uh, at first I hoped I could just circumvent it inside and have it on all the time. But then I cannot leave it on to the battery. And I actually, uh, for myself, I leave it on the battery almost always. It's standing there ready to use. Uh, what I saw is that this little thing that's on the back of the drill has these tiny hooks. I thought at first that uh, there would be a screw or anything uh, behind it because I didn't get it open in the first place but apparently um, it's sitting here and it clips in and like by pulling it like this you can clip it out so that's how this thing comes off and there's no prying or anything because at first I tried prying it but that's a bad idea since it's plastic and it dis uh, damages it so don't make the, mi the same mistake as I did if you're planning on doing this it is uh, actually quite interesting how the drill uh, with hammer function, I don't know about the other one, but I would assume it's the same, doesn't have any circuit board here. This is just the connectors and the light, that's it. With the impact wrench, the board, and the newer one is, is completely covered in resin, which I mean, which I mean is like really bad, because nothing can be tinkered with or altered or fixed in the future, so. But in this drill, uh, the circuit board is apparently just on the motor itself and like this teeny tiny bit here and that's the circuit board and the rest of the uh, features are in the switch itself uh, looking at the switch here uh, the cables are marked from 1 to 6 and uh, my guess would be that uh, 2 and 3 are the cables that I need to cut that are probably the trigger wires, so the white one and the blue one because um, this to me looks like it's the variable resistor uh, that lets uh, the drill know what speed to go at and this is probably the beginning of the, the press uh, so it gets the signal that the trigger is being uh, pressed at the first place could also open up this thing but um, I don't feel like doing that because I already tried poking this open and these little clips are super hard to press down and I cannot seem to get the switch open I don't want to damage it either because uh, I like my drill <laughs> so I will first try and see if I connect these two uh, number two and three so the um, blue and the white wire uh, if that uh, activates the drill so now I cut the blue and the white wire and connected it to my multimeter to check if the continuity immediately triggers the moment I uh, press the trigger. So, like the slightest push starts the connection. So, that is what I was hoping for. So, this is really like this activates the drill. If you press it, it gives a connection throughout the complete uh, travel of the button. After the first three millimeters, uh, it's a continuity between those two wires. It really leads me to cons um, to assume that these are the two wires that I need to connect permanently. Obviously, not at the switch side, but at the at the drill side. Get this out here. <coughs> so 
Yeah, I will have to pry, uh, find these out of here because there's a nice protective sleeve here. The build quality of this thing is, is so awesome, by the way. Like, everything is like high quality plastic, nice rubber. Everything feels super solid and sturdy. Price quality, it's so nice. Starting to have all these awesome tools here and, I, and more are coming up, more are being ordered. Got a bunch of uh, cells here, my charging station. I also made some cells myself. Uh, so this is completely 3d printed i also did an uh, upgrade come on to the to the 12 a volt series that clicks on to other adapters but i'll go into detail about all of that in another video also made a nine uh, amperes battery uh, extended the original battery put better cells in there that i bought good panasonic cells that is a really awesome battery. That was actually before the new batteries got released. Now Parkside has their own eight ampere batteries, but you know, I did it before they even existed. Um, and also way cheaper. It was a bit more work though, but you know, it's fun. Anyway, back to the project. What are we doing here? We are connecting now these two wires. I'm first going to try and just connect them together, see what it does with the battery on there. If it works, I'm going to route it through to this button. So the battery is connected to the drill again and I've got the blue and the white wire stripped and ready for connection. Uh, it works as uh, I thought it would be. So if I press the trigger now, see, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't work at all. So also long press, nothing. The drill is sleeping. And now when I connect this, these two wires, you will see the light come on. There you go. And now the drill works. If I connect these two wires permanently, uh, the drill stays awake. So I'm going to extend those wires and I'm thinking about putting the button here because that's where no hand grip will ever be. I am right handed. I could put the button here since my hand isn't there, but if another side handed person uses it, then it will be in the way. So I don't like that. I have to find another place to put the button. At top is hard because there's all these uh, electronics in there. So I really have to find a place at the bottom, I think. So that's where the, the hanger for the belt usually goes. Uh, but I always use it on the other side. So I decided to go with this side to uh, drill that out. I am uh, basically done. I finally got the button in. It was a real pain in the ass to get it in there, but uh, I used a couple of drills. Uh, first I drilled the starter uh, hole with this. Uh, then I used this one, but that didn't get me far enough because I was going to damage uh, the plastic rail here that the battery slides on too much by drilling through here. Um, so then I went to this one and uh, that made it uh, fit perfectly and uh, I glued the button in then I uh, made sure that it wasn't in the way the cables weren't in the way for the battery to slide on so I made a little hole um, in here where the cable slides through then I glued it here so it couldn't come loose it goes all the way I tucked it in with the other cables put some shrink wrap around it like the original uh, cable like with the original cable so it's protected and it won't uh, uh, damage the wires over time and uh, two original cables that I clipped from the button itself I put some little shrink wrap around those as well so even though that's quite useless because it would probably not do anything if they were just left alone but I like to be tidy and put some uh, shrink wrap around those too and now it is all finished and I can uh, close it back up and the switch should do its job so the drill is completed the button works perfectly it almost looks like it's supposed to be there and the drill won't start even on long presses the moment I flick the switch the drill turns on and I can <coughs> drill as long as I want got my hook here for the belt got my button there and this one won't go to sleep anymore <coughs> 